Hello, and this is Tina. Welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I am going to show you the entire inside contents of Spelling You See um, F because they have A through G, if I'm not mistaken, and each level gets a little bit more advanced. I personally don't own the rest of them. I actually just got this because another homeschooler asked me about have I ever heard of spelling you see and do I have a review on it and I didn't originally so I went searching high and low for this curriculum but it this curriculum runs about 60 bucks so I really didn't want to spend 60 bucks on something I really didn't know a lot about so you know me I'm gonna search high and low to find it find it reasonable price so I was actually able to get F, just the student workbooks, workbook one and two um, from a resale homeschool Facebook group for $20. And that included the shipping as well. So she probably, with shipping, it was probably like five five thousand some change. So I really actually just spent $15 for two books. And it was used. The first one, she only used like eight pages out of, and the second book is completely new. So I'm just going to show you the entire contents of the second book since it has all the um, pages in the front. Basically, what I personally see, I haven't used it yet, but I plan to start using it this week with my son because I'm actually very shocked. I really, really like it for two reasons. It's you focus on copy work. It's helping the children to really work with consonants and um, vowels with the chunks. It also focuses on um, the child being able to work their skills with um, audio, with them listening to you, and then they actually have to dictate notes based on the paragraph. So it's not overdone where they just... Let me just show you. Okay. In my opinion... Well, let me just tell you this first. This... This is just a student. You can buy um, you can buy this curriculum two ways. You can either buy it with the um, the teacher instructor's guide with the two student workbooks, and then they usually give you some colored pencils or colored crayons to go with it, or you can just buy the student workbooks. I either one you can do. Of course, if you just buy the student workbooks, it's cheaper. I think it's like forty seven dollars versus. $57. So it's like, I think it's like a $10 difference. However, um, in my opinion, I don't really see where you would actually need the, um, teeth instructor guide, not unless you're a person that absolutely have to have it on every single thing, because the way this is done, you can actually teach from the student guide. I mean, workbook. So basically it's, five days worth of work, two sheets a day. So what you do with the child, you will actually read the um, passage aloud. This is the passage. What I particularly like about spelling, you see each, um, each level focus on a certain thing. Like the F focuses on ancient um, achievements, whereas Another one focused on, I think, animals. It just depends. All of them have different focal points. But this particular one is doing ancient um, achievements. So when he is doing his work, my son, he will not only get his spelling and grammar and language arts, he also is going to be getting some history at the same exact time. What I like in particular, especially for children that has dyslexia or a child that does not a reluctant reader, put it like that. It has just one paragraph that they focus on. The instructions are, they you read the um, passage to your child first, and then your child is going to basically look for these vowel chunks, consonant chunks, and these what they call bosses with dealing with A-R-E-R-I-R-O-R-U-R. -R 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 -R. And what they do, they're going to go through and highlight all the vowel chunks in yellow, all the consonants in blue, and all the... um bossy r's in purple and so they would just go through first and just find all those different various vowel chunks and consonant chunks then next thing that they do they will actually do the copy work so they will copy just as they see it everything just as they see it 
day two, they will come along and do the same thing that they did the previous day, but you see how it highlights a different picture. But instead of doing the same copywork they, that they was doing the previous day, they will actually be doing another part of this paragraph. So they'll be focused on that. Day three, they will do the vowel chunks and then they have a section that deals with spotlight. Now, this will be the only case where I see you actually will want the um, instructor's guide because it has additional information to go with the spotlight section. But I mean, me personally, I'm just going to um, make my own curriculum thing based on what it's talking about here in this little snippet of information. I'll probably even find a video because my son is a visual learner, find a video that highlights the Coliseum and stuff like that. And we can actually do like a lap book of the Coliseum. So here they're going to actually do some more copy work. So this is the third day of copy work. The fourth day changes. What you're going to do, you're looking for the endings of the word. So you're going to be focused on the endings and silent letters, endings and tricky Y's. So they're going to be focused on that. And then what you're going to do as an instructor, you're going to read the paragraph and then your child is going to try to dictate the passage as you read it. And on this day, the fourth day, your child is actually able to get help from you if they need it. On the fifth day, you will actually read this passage to your child again, but this time you will not um, help them with this. You will see how they can get through the dictation without help from you. Now, I forgot to tell you one important little thing. On the bottom of each one of these pages, when you're dealing with the dictation and stuff, it's have, I spelled blank words correctly. So in the dictations um, and the copy work, well, not the copy work, the dictation section, you will actually count how many words that your child actually um, wrote correctly. And then the last day you will actually count how many words they spelled correctly as well. So it will actually build their confidence. Now, if you have a child that is having a great difficulty spelling and they have more words wrong than right, then in my personal opinion, I wouldn't really highlight that as much as I will highlight the words that they actually got correct. So this is a place where I would personally adjust because you don't want to break down your child's self-esteem. So if you have a child that's really, really have a difficult time with spelling, and I do not mark the, um, in dictation, I will not mark it with red because red, <laughs> I remember being in school with a, and a teacher mark my answers wrong in red. I mean, I just got just like stressed from a red <laughs> pen. So I will not do that. I would use colors or different stuff like that, or maybe a different way of addressing the word that is spelled wrong. But I mean, that's your personal opinion. Um, but basically overall, I really, really like this curriculum. I'm going to thoroughly use this. I am on the hunt to find the rest of this for um, $20 or less, because you know my motto, I do not spend a lot for curriculum and I don't, I do not mind buying you. So I was actually able to get the student workbook one and two for $20 used. And I'm very, very happy. This book is brand new. The first one, the lady only used eight pages out of it. So basically new, it's like a hundred and a hundred and 83 pages. So, I mean, that was like a drop down deal. So at any rate, um, I just want to show you guys the inside of it. I really, really like it. I'm going to start using it this week or maybe next week. And then I'll try to come back and do a review on the progress. But I really think this is going to be a good fit for us. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Have a great day.